because he sure won't give up on us. Amen? No matter how hard we want to get out of things sometimes, God will still hold you right there to it. Amen? Amen. Sometimes you just feel like going somewhere, just getting in a hole somewhere, but God says, uh-uh, I haven't given up on you yet. Amen? So we serve a God of a first and second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth chance. Amen? Hey, the scriptures let us know that a righteous man falleth seven times, but he gets back up again. Amen. And it's only by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Right now, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. If there's anyone who has a spoken request, you can stand now and let it be known, or simply just by raising your hand. Amen. All right. Well, let's pray for our... President, I know some of y'all don't want to pray for him, and I know some people was wishing he do really have the coronavirus, and because you really don't know what to believe, amen. So we'll just pray for him anyway, him and his wife, amen, amen. First lady, amen. Also pray for my family in Mississippi. I had another. 
uh, relative pass away uh, last week from the coronavirus, my aunt, my father's niece, so rather. So pray for her, uh, that family. She has a son who's by himself now, so pray for him, you know, that the Lord will bless him, continue to strengthen him in his spirit, soul, and body, and comfort his heart. Amen. Let's pray that God will bless with this coronavirus. Amen. Amen. We know that he's going to protect us because we say he said nothing would come nigh us. Amen. Amen. And we believe God, don't we? Amen. But it's so this thing has hit, I think, almost every family in the world, not the United States, in the world. Amen. So let's pray for, pray for all the bereaved families all over the world. Amen. Amen. No other requests. Pray for our bishop. Amen. That God will continue to strengthen him and bless him in his spirit, soul, and body. Pray for him that God will send us a rhema word today. Amen. That he'll grant him the door of utterance. Amen. And, and he'll uh, give us an ear to our soul to hear what thus says the word of God today. Amen. Let's pray for our ushers, our deacons, our, our musician especially. Amen. Amen. Right now it seems like he's a, he's been a solo for so long. Let's pray that God will send him in some help. Amen. Amen. He needs some, we need an organist. We need a, a trumpet player. I like all those things. Amen. Amen. The more the merrier. I just love it. Amen. 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 We thank God for Elder Grady on the drums. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, they're done I'll oh, ask everyone to stand. I have our pastor lead us in prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help us. <laughs> Let it be hard pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. Just to say thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, and your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being our strength, being our shield, being a very present help in the time of trouble. We ask you, Lord, that you look upon men and women and children everywhere, that you save and add to the church daily, that you should be saved. Remember, oh God, the ways and the things that we want to do to please you, to walk in your way. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request. Bless, Lord, hallelujah, send forth healing, send forth deliverance, send forth power, send forth your anointing. We ask you, Lord, that you take charge of this service. Hallelujah, shower down and rain down your power. Shower down and rain down your anointing. Manifest your glory, manifest your goodness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. I'd like to invite your attention to the 150 division of Psalms. Psalms 150, it reads as thus. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. So I know everything in here has breath. Amen. So we're going to praise ye the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. If you can't stand up, we want you to clap your hands. If you can't clap your hands, we want you to stomp your feet. Amen. But we want you to get behind our praise team and help them praise the Lord. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise team. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's praise and worship time. It's time to lift up our creator. It's time for us to lift up his son, the one who set us free. So you ought to be happy that you have freedom today. Because a lot of people don't have it because they're still trapped in their sins. But God granted us freedom through his son. So let's get up on our feet and let's praise God for who he is and for his son, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, say freedom, freedom. 
Such a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Sing, I am free. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. I'm no longer bound. No more chains. No more chains holding. My soul is resting. It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Sing, I'm free. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound, no more chains, no more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's such a blessing. And it's such a blessing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. Come on and sing, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. One last time, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. Hallelujah, come on and lift up a praise if you're free. Hallelujah. You're a mighty God. You're an awesome God. An awesome ruler. You're perfect in all of your ways. Let's lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And for that, Father, we know that you deserve it. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. 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 My hallelujah belongs to you. 
said my hallelujah belongs to you my hallelujah it belongs to you said my hallelujah belongs to you help me sing my hallelujah my hallelujah belongs to you sing my hallelujah my hallelujah belongs to you my hallelujah my hallelujah belongs to you. Not for what you're doing, you. but because of who you are. It's my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Who's waking me up this morning? Keeping me in my right mind. You. My hallelujah belongs to you. One more time. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. One more thing. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs hallelujah. to you. Why do you deserve it? Here is my cousin. You, you, you deserve, deserve it. it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Come on, you deserve You deserve it. All of the glory. All of the glory belongs to you. Everything I am, God, all of the glory. All of the glory belongs to you. Come on, sing all of the glory. All of the glory belongs to you. Because of who you are, God, I can worship all of the glory. All of the glory belongs to you. Come on, yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. Come on, I you the all the You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. And we sing hallelujah. 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 We give you the glory. Hallelujah. 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 All the glory. Hallelujah. All the honor. All the honor. All the praise. All the praise. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. All of my heart, God. You deserve it. All of my parade. You deserve it. Come on, we sing hallelujah. 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 All the glory. All the glory. All the honor. You've been good. You've been good. You've been good. Lord, I love you. 
Because he deserves it, amen? Woke you up this morning, started you on your way. I don't see not one wheelchair in the building. I see everybody able to clap their hands. You're able to stand on your feet and give God a praise. He deserves it, amen? Hallelujah. Think about all the times where you didn't praise your God. Think about all the times when you should have praised him and you didn't praise God. He deserves it. Amen. He deserves it. He deserves it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the provision he's made for you. All the protection and the dangers that he's kept you from. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the honor. He deserves all the glory. It all belongs to God. Hallelujah. I can't think of anyone more deserving than our God. Amen. Ain't nobody do you like your God can. Amen. 
I done searched all over. I can't find nobody like him. I done looked here and looked there, but I still can't find nobody like my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Amen. Amen. I love God. Amen. But I met the love of God before I met God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it was his love that reached out there and got us. Amen. That brought us in. Amen. Hallelujah. Was the love of God that drew you in. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful for that today. Amen. God is a good God. He's good. And his mercy endureth forever. Thank God for his mercy. Amen. That endureth forever. Hallelujah. Even gave you a brand new mercy just this morning. Hallelujah. You've used up all of yesterday's mercy. So he had to give you a new mercy this morning. Hallelujah. He deserves your praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for my little place over here in holiness. Amen. Wouldn't take nothing for my journey. Wouldn't take nothing for the tests and trials that I've been through. If I had to do it all over again, I'd do it all over again. Amen. Hallelujah. Only this time I saw somebody shake their head. No. But, <laughs> but I would do it all over again. Amen. Because God is good. Hallelujah. Not sometimes, but how long? All the time. God is good. Amen. We're going to change the order of our service. Amen. Bring forth the morning's announcements. Amen. We're going to have our October council, our Nipane council, this October 23rd and 24th. And it's going to be a virtual council. Our council registration is $10 per person. And we're going to have some great speakers for Friday and Saturday. Evangelist Virginia Bowie and Pastor Dorian Cass. Amen. We're going to have some Bible studies taught by Bishop Turner and District Elder Stafford. Amen. And you can get on to it, uh, Facebook, Zoom, and YouTube. Amen. Amen. So there's no way to miss it. Amen. Amen. So we're asking everyone to govern themselves accordingly, uh, according to that announcement. Also, Pastor has said we will have communion next Sunday morning. Amen. Oh, the whole church should be shouting. Amen. We get in our life. Amen. That's one of our most sacred services in the Bible. Amen. Communion. Amen. Because he said as often as you do this, you remember him. Amen. Amen. Do it in remembrance of the Lord. So we'll have our communion, a real nice communion right before we go into our morning service next Sunday morning. Amen. So we're asking everyone to please be on time. We'll, we'll definitely start at 11 a.m. promptly. Amen. Amen. And we at Christian Ministries here have a statement of purpose. It's to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ through effective, responsible ministry and intentional, creative, dynamic fellowship. Amen. And we have core values. We value love. We value persistence. We value patience. We value commitment. We value sacrifice. We value service. And we value you. We have a statement, our vision statement. It's uh, to be a caring fellowship, leading souls to Jesus Christ, strengthening members and families, making disciples, equipping them for service and community ministry. Amen? Amen. We're so glad to see all of our visitors out with us this morning. Amen. We like to, uh, Brother Lockett is here this morning. He's in the house. Amen. Glad to see him. And um, I don't want to miss anybody. Brother Dave's back in the house. Amen. Sister Jessie's in the house. Amen. Good to see you, Sister Jessie. Uh, who else here? I, I don't want to miss anybody. But we're just glad for all of you. Amen. Amen. We thank God that you decided to come and be with us this morning. Amen. Amen. And it's blessing time. All right. Pardon me. Oh, oh, I'd like to welcome Facebook, all our virtual people. Amen. Amen. And we'd like to let you know that we're located here at 501 West 31st Street. You're welcome to come and visit with us anytime. Amen. 
Amen. Come on out. We will do thee good. Amen. Right now it's blessing time. Amen. Ask everyone to get their tithes and their offerings ready. We're going to ask Deacon Fields if he would come up. Amen. And ask everyone to stand, please, in your respective places. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you'll bless this offering. Thank you, Lord, for being able to give into your kingdom, Lord, one more time. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, that you'll bless all those that give, bless those that don't have to give. Bless Christian ministries, Lord, and help us, Lord, to build your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy, he's worthy. For he is good, yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good. Come on. Oh, give thanks. Unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Unto the Lord, for he is good. Isn't he good? Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. One more time. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give him a praise in the sanctuary. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. The Lord is good all by himself. Uh, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. The Bible says, let us enter in his gates with thanksgiving, and let us enter in his courts with praise. Let us praise thee, the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Let us bless his holy name. Let us bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that is within me. Let us bless his holy name. Thank ye the Lord, all ye people. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. This poor man cried, and he heard my cry. In the day of trouble, in the day of calamity, and he lifted us above all of our enemies. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exult, let us exult, let us exult, let us exult, let us exult his name. His name is above all names. His name, let us bless his name together. Come on and clap your hands in the sanctuary. Come on and give God a praise in the sanctuary. 
Come on and bless his holy name. Give God a praise. Thank ye the Lord. For he is good. For he is God. He is wonderful. He is marvelous. He is an awesome God. Full of glory. Full of honor. Full of strength. He is the Lord that healeth thee. He is the Lord that blesses thee. Come on and clap your hands. And give God, give God, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. If God's been good to you, say hallelujah. If God's been good to you, just clap your hands. Hey, if God's been good to you. Say hallelujah and clap your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes you go through some mountains. Sometimes you go over some valleys. Hallelujah. Sometimes, hallelujah, you just got to pause and say, Lord, I thank you. Hey, I thank you for being good to me. Sometimes you got to say, Lord, I thank you. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Sometimes you got to stop and say, Lord, I thank you. God, come on, shut. Because you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on and give the Lord one more praise. Hallelujah. What is man that thou art mindful of him? What is man that God is so mindful of us? Uh, that he even visited us. Hallelujah. When you lift your hands up in praise, when you give God a praise and a hallelujah and a thank you, somehow that, that moves God. Uh, he manifests his presence. And where the presence of the Lord is, there is what? Liberty. Freedom. Hallelujah. And I want to be free. How many of you want to be free? Uh, I want to be free. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to be free. I was listening to Sister Amanda sing that song, Free. Hallelujah. Some, I think it got in her spirit. She kind of changed on us a little bit. Hallelujah. That's what happens when you start singing and say, Lord, I want to be free. Hallelujah. I want to be free to clap my hands. I want to be free to praise you. I want to be free to give you thanks. I want to be free in my spirit and my soul. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Have you ever been burdened? Have you ever been bound? Have you ever went through some oppression? Hallelujah. So you can appreciate your freedom. Come on and give God a praise. No longer bound. No more chains. Hallelujah. The yoke has been destroyed. I said the yoke has been destroyed because of his anointing. Ah, hallelujah. 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 I appreciate my freedom. I appreciate the joy. Uh, don't you appreciate your joy? Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I said the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. When you call on the name of the Lord, ah, you can move mountains. When you call on the name of the Lord, you can undo heavy burdens. When you call on the name of the Lord, yokes can be destroyed. You ought to call on his name. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, I know we got to move on, but Lord, I thank you. We're living in a world of confusion, but the Lord is never confused. Lord, I thank you. We're living in a world of deception. But you can't deceive the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Hey, come on, shut. Hallelujah, I thank you, Lord. Will y'all praise the Lord with me? Will you thank him for picking you up? Will you thank him for turning you around? Will you thank him for putting your feet on solid ground? Will you thank him for being your protection? For being your shield and your buckler? Will you thank him? For being your joy and sorrow and your hope for tomorrow. Will you thank him for being?
and your healer and your deliverer. You ought to thank him. That come on, shot. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Oh, I got one more thank you. Then we got to let it go. I thank you for being our provider. Has the Lord ever provided for you? Has he ever made a way out of nowhere? Has he ever opened up a door? Has he ever brought you out and come on shot and place you above and not beneath? Oh, you ought to say thank you. Hey, you ought to say thank you. Now you ought to thank him for what you want to thank him Come on. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord, for being hey, so good to me. Come on, choir. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Yeah. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. My God. I want to thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. So good to me. You were. Water when I was hungry. Come on. Water when I was thirsty. Come on. Shelter in the time of the storm. Hey. Lord, I just want to thank you. Come on, Sha. I want to thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. So good to me. Amen. Come on and praise the Lord. Go, Sha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, I said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I said, when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for you, your soul ought to cry out, hallelujah. You ought to cry out, hallelujah. You ought to cry out, hallelujah. Uh, you ought to cry out, hallelujah. You ought to cry out, hallelujah. Somebody say, hallelujah. 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 When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Uh, when we praise the Lord. Uh, when the saints praise the Lord. When everything that has breath praises the Lord. Uh, it moves. It moves the Lord. So we thank the Lord. I said we thank the Lord. I said we thank the Lord. For all that he is doing. For the ways that he is making. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know what's down my road. <laughs> but I thank him right now for life, health, and portion of strength. Hey, I don't, I don't know what he's going to bring me out of later. But I know what he's brought me out of now. So I thank you. Hey, you know, I'm going to praise him for what he's about to bring me out of. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you. Hallelujah. My God. I don't know about you, but I expect every time I say thank you, I expect something to happen. I expect something to move in the atmosphere. Uh, I expect God. Hey, hubble shot. I expect him to open another door. I expect him to establish our footsteps. Every time we praise him, we should have an expectation. Yeah, because God is good. Uh, We're going to move on with the service. My God, because the Lord is great and he's greatly to be praised. Protocol has already been established by Pastor Duck and we certainly do give everybody honor to whom honor is due. And we certainly do praise God for all that he is doing for us in our lives. I want to thank God for the brethren getting together on yesterday and having breakfast, just communing with one another. 
Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Amen. We ought to thank God for fellowship. Hey, ain't no ship like fellowship. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Amen. I thank God for Christian ministries. Come on and give God a praise. I thank God for all that y'all do. Hallelujah. And the love that you all show. My God, words can't express it. But I say thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. And we certainly uh, want to, uh, like Pastor Duck has said, um, we are a progressive church. and We're moving. Our next phase is to moving into our community. Amen. Mission and vision. Being a caring fellowship. Leading souls to Christ. Strengthening members and families. Making disciples and equipping them for service and community ministry. And that's truly our vision. And the Lord is opening up that door for us to fulfill our vision. Amen. And we have told you that the Lord has blessed us with another building. And took some of the brethren down there on yesterday to view it. And just the excitement that they had when they saw it. And the ideas were flooding in. Thank you, Lord. And I thank God for that. So, amen. Come on, give God a praise. So, after service today, I, I'm going to, those of you that want to see our blessing, I'm going to go down there and open up the doors so you can walk around and touch it and feel it. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible say, talks about we ought to see our faith. Amen. And I want you to see your faith and not only see it, but I want you to touch it. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, by God. And catch on fire. Hallelujah. God is good. And his mercy certainly endureth forever. Amen. And we certainly do thank God for Sister Jay, Jesse being in our midst on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Truly, God is a good God. Amen. And you tell Daddy we said hello. Amen. Thank you. Well, no, back up. You tell Daddy we said praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. We are praising the Lord type of people here. Amen. We certainly do praise God for his greatness. I'm drafting a letter to send to our members about the vision of what the Lord wants us to do when we get over there. Amen. So that we can uh, uh, digest it and pray for it. The scripture says to write the vision and make it plain. And he literally meant that. Write it out. Amen. So I'm going to write it out and I'm going to send it to each and every one of you so that you can have it, so you can pray and know what we're, what we're working for and working to accomplish. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited and we ought to be on fire for the Lord. All right. We want to have the church to stand. I'm trying to think. Oh, um, when we have our communion. We're going to have that in the first part of the service, and it's going to be uh, very quick. It's going to be uh, where you're standing at. We're going to deliver you the communion, um, those that are taking it. Um, we're going to give you the body and the, the blood, and then we'll stand here, and you'll take it as we go through uh, that process. We'll collect it, amen, rejoice in the Lord, and move on, amen. Um, you know, Lord, he may interrupt us, but if he does, that's okay. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But um, it's going to be done through the process of that social distancing, and we're going to be mindful of everybody. You'll have your own separate, your own separate communion um, uh, uh, sacraments. Amen. I get we get that from our Catholic brothers. They call it sacrament. Amen. You'll have your own communion sacraments. All right. Just turn with me uh, to 3 John, the book of 3 John, chapter number 1. There's only one chapter in 3 John, and John is an apostle of Jesus Christ. He wrote first, he wrote the book of uh, the gospel of John, and he wrote the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and he also wrote the book of revelations amen so he was fulfilling his ministry and as far as history goes it states that he was the last of the apostles to go on to be with the lord 
they, history says that, that they attempted to kill him <laughs> but were unsuccessful, so they banished him to an island. Amen. And not that they was, uh, I think they, it says that they tried to boil him in oil. Amen. And he came out of it alive. Thank you, Jesus. And then they got frustrated and said, we'll just banish him to an island. Amen. Because uh, that shows us something about the Lord, that uh, people can't kill you until your work is done. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't die until your work is finished. Uh, somebody ought to get excited. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But God got a purpose for you. God has a plan for you. You can't die until the plan and the purpose has been completed. Amen. And if God be for you, I said, if God be for you, who then can be against you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastor Duck confirming. She said, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anytime God reveals a word to you, you ought to praise him. Hallelujah. You ought to say, Lord, I thank you. Third John chapter 1 and drop down all the way to verse 11. It says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil is have not seen God. Let me read that again. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. Follow that which is good. Refuse the evil. Follow that which is good. Reject the evil. Follow that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, been born again, been born again, is of God. But he which doeth evil uh, have not seen God, have not understood him, have not come to understand him. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we get ready to go into this word, we ask you, Lord, that you open up our understanding. Give us what you have desired to give unto us for this hour. Father, we thank you. Heal the few sick among us. Strengthen our hearts and our minds. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As we begin to look at these verse of scripture, St. John chapter number one, verse 11. Beloved, follow not that which is evil but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil have not seen God. And we just want to take a thought from that verse of Scripture and talk about doing great exploits for the kingdom of heaven. Doing great exploits for the kingdom of heaven. This particular epistle, a very short epistle, was written to a brother by the name of Gaius. And Paul wrote that particular scripture to warn him. It was a scripture of warning and it was a scripture of encouragement. Paul wanted to encourage his friend and he was telling him that I wanted you to prosper. Even as your soul prosper, be in good health and live a good life. And as Paul begins to give him encouragement and to encourage him because he had heard of the brethren that he was walking in truth. And Paul was also giving a warning because uh, there were uh, individual there that was literally trying to bring him down or bring the church down. So he was warning him not to follow the evil example of others. 
Don't follow the evil example of others uh, who are not doing good deeds or walking in the way of truth. Uh, and Paul was stressing the fact that he enjoyed the testimony of Gaius because Gaius was one that was walking in truth. When an individual decides that they're going to walk in truth, it literally makes the pastor happy. When an individual decides to walk in the way of righteousness and holiness, Paul was expressing his joy of gladness because the individual was choosing to follow after the way of the Lord. And when individuals decide to follow after the way of the Lord, it, it makes things better. When individuals decide that they're going to walk in the way of the Lord, it makes a, a joyful individual. It makes an individual uh, uh, more powerful under the anointing of God. When an individual chooses to walk in the way of God, there is a blessing connected with it. The Bible says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seateth in the seat of the scornful. But the scripture says his delight or her delight is in the law of the Lord. And in their law doth they meditate uh, day and night, night and day. They're meditating. Why? So that they can please the Lord. And the scripture says they shall be like a tree uh, that is planted by the rivers of water. Uh, the leaf also shall not wither, but whatsoever they do, it shall prosper. It shall prosper. If you want to prosper, you've got to follow after the Lord. If you want to prosper, you've got to not follow after those that are ungodly or those that are unrighteous. You've got to follow the Lord's way. Uh, for the way of the Lord is righteousness. The strength of the Lord is your power and your protection. Uh, so Paul was writing this letter to encourage the saints. That they have to walk in truth. They have to walk in power and refuse ungodliness and walk in the way of righteousness. And that's the explanation of doing great exploits before the honor and power of God. In other words, when you refuse evil and, and accept that which is good, that, that, that is doing great exploits in the of God. Sometimes we may feel that we've got to climb a high mountain. Sometimes we feel that we've got to offer the greatest sacrifice, but the greatest sacrifice of your God would be for you to live a holy life by refusing that which is evil and doing that which is good. Tell your neighbor, I got to do that which is Good. I, I got to do that in the sight of the Lord. I, I got to do that with right in the sight of the Lord. And doing that which is right in the sight of the Lord means that you got to walk in his way. Uh, you got to walk in the ways of the Lord. And the Bible says that ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I just want to talk to you today. I just want to put this in your mind today that the that you do, the Bible says, be ye steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. As much as you know that your labor is not in vain. You, your labor is not in vain. Your labor is not you walk in the way of the Lord. I know that 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 in these trying times that evil is all around us and the enemy is trying to consume us and those that walk in the way of truth they put on the whole armor of God. The Bible says that we wrestle not 
against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness in this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor uh, that so we can be able to stand. How many of you want to stand in the evil? How many of you want to stand against the hand of the enemy how many of you want to stand against the powers of darkness uh because evil is all around us and the enemy comes to kill he comes to steal he comes to destroy uh but jesus came to this world that you might have life and that more abundantly so you've got to choose you've got to choose life you've got to choose the thing that is good and stand up for righteousness and stand up for holiness and stand up for what god calls right because paul said himself that when i want to do good evil is always with me evil is always trying to bring us down evil is always trying to take us whole cake captive of our minds take captive of our thoughts uh, my god my god even in your dreams uh, evil will show up even in your dreams evil will show up while you're sleeping and unaware you have an evil dream that is trying to get you to do wickedness uh, that is trying to do you to do that which is evil even myself oh my god i had a dream and, and when i woke up from the dream i was trying to process what was going on and i i asked the lord i said lord do you want me to pray for the individual do you want me what do you want me to do is this dream from you and the holy ghost spoke and said well what happened in the dream and i and i began to rehearse that it was simply evil that was happening in the dream and then the lord said now you have your answer uh the devil is trying to influence you the devil is trying to take you out the devil is trying to cause you to do that which is evil in the sight of the lord but i thank god for the holy ghost i thank god for a counselor i thank god for just a little talk with jesus oh my god if we would just have a little talk with jesus if we would just have a little talk oh my god with him that is able to do exceedingly him that is able to do abundantly if we would just have a little talk with jesus not just some things but everything is going to be all right why because the lord he doesn't want you to fall into evil the lord doesn't want you to give in to the temptation of the devil Oh, but the Lord said, I give you power. I give you power to rise above every temptation. I give you power to let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I give you power to do great exploits. I give you a reserve of power so that you can do great things in the kingdom of God for the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven it suffered violence sometimes you've got to shed away oh, a meekness and a quietness and realize that you are in a fight for your life sometimes I don't believe we think that we're in a fight for our life sometimes I don't think we think that the enemy is trying to kill us that the devil is trying to destroy us that he's literally trying to take us out oh but my friend be not deceived and God is not mocked oh my God I feel the Holy Ghost in here we've got to understand that we've got to put our trust in Jesus and then everything is going to be all right you see your God has given you he's given you resources to be and to do great things in the kingdom but you've got to take advantage of the 
the resources of God. You see, God has given you his word. God has given you the power to pray. God has given you that option to, to seek his face. God will anoint you. Oh, the anoint your head in the midst of your enemies. God will give you joy. He'll give you peace. He'll give you strength in the midst of your sorrow, in the midst of your trouble. My God, when the enemy shows up, You've got to realize that God is just a prayer away. When the enemy shows up, don't you know God is there? He's omnipresent and he's omnipotent and he wants to do great things in your life. Uh, if it had not been for the devil, we would know the power of God. If it had not been for the sickness, we would know that he's a healer. If it had not been for a state of confusion, we would know that the Lord is a mind regulator. We would know him by his name as a wonderful counselor, as a prince of peace, as a mighty God, as the everlasting father. We would know him as Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Oh my God, we would know that Jesus was, oh my God, we would know that God was in Christ, reconciling the world back unto himself. You would know Jesus in the pardoning of your sin. You would know Jesus as the lover of your soul. We thank God for the trouble. Trouble in our way. We have to cry sometimes. But we've got to know that Jesus will fix it after a while. And it's because of the joy. We can count it all joy when we fall into divers temptation. It's because of the power. We can walk and tread upon serpents and tread upon scorpions. And he's given us all power over the hand of the enemy. Those that want to do great exploits. Those that want to refuse the evil and choose the good. They walk by faith and not by sight. Those that want to do good in the sight of the Lord. They lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset them. And they look unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of their faith. They look unto the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. They look to the Lord who is their shield and their buckler. They look to him that is able to do exceeding and abundant. Those that want to be great in the kingdom of God, they call on the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous, and the righteous, what a thing there. And they are safe. Oh my God, those that want to do great and choose the good, they dwell in the secret place. Are you dwelling in the secret place of the most high? Are you abiding under the shadow of the almighty? Are you testifying that the Lord is my refuge? The Lord is my push. The Lord is my dwelling place. He is my strength. The Lord, he's my song in the night. Oh, my God, my God in heaven. God wants you to do good. God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be strong. And in order to do good, in order to be strong, you've got to focus your mind on Jesus. You've got to focus your mind on the Lord. 
Why? Because the enemy is there to take you out. I don't know why I keep going back over that. Oh, he wants us to get it. You can't play around with the devil. You can't play around with the enemy. If you play around in his camp, he'll take you at his will. If you play around with his goods, he's going to call close on his goods. But if you put your trust in the name of the Lord, if you call on the name of Jesus in your midnight hour, he'll be there to help. He'll be there to aid you, to lift you above the hand of the enemy, to lift you above the power of the devil, to shut you off that you are his righteousness, to show you off that you are his joy, to show you off that you are his peace. You ought to give your God a praise. You ought to give your God you ought to give your God a praise. Where my brothers at? Oh my God, when the brothers know they got a fine lady, when they know they got a fine wife, they want to show her off. Oh my God, when the brothers know that they got a good looking woman, they don't mind having her on their side. The same likewise with God. When God calls you out of darkness into his marvelous light, when he cleans you up and puts holiness in you and puts righteousness in you, he wants to show you off. He wants everybody to know that he is the one that is the king of kings. He is the one that is the Lord of lords. And you better not touch him. Oh my God, that's what the Lord is saying to the devil. You better not touch my people. They have been called by my name. You can't touch those that I brought out of darkness. You can't touch those that are royal priesthood, that are a chosen generation, that are a holy nation. You ought to give God a praise. God says, in my closing here, God says, he wants us to make full proof of our resources. The word exploit, it means to utilize to the fullest. Let me say that again. The word exploit means to utilize to the fullest. I question today, have any of us left some of his power on the table? Has any of us left some of his glory behind? Have you fully taken advantage of all the resources of the Lord? And he don't just want you to take advantage of them. He wants you to exploit them. Take full advantage. Uh, when you know who you are, when you know whose you are, you can walk by faith and not by sight. When you know whose you are, and you know whose you are, you can sit down at the table and not just beg, but command. When you know whose you are, and where you come from, and who your daddy is, you can declare, you can decree, you can make things happen, because he's the one that has sent you. Masha, dele masha. Don't be timid when it comes to facing the enemy. Don't be scared when it comes to calling those things as though they were, as though they can be. Don't be afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that cometh by noonday. Don't be afraid because the Lord is your shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd and you shall not fall. Don't be afraid if the enemy hits you. The Lord knows how to restore you. He restores my soul. He picks me up. He gives me joy. He gives me peace. Don't be afraid. 
Walk through your valleys. Hallelujah. Up your shadows of death. Not fearing any evil. Why? Because the Lord is with thee. Do you believe that today? That the Lord is on your side? Do you believe that today? That you are the head and not the tail? Do you believe that today? Shadarabosha. My God, I feel like preaching all over again. So when you leave this place, lift up your bow down head. When you leave this place, strengthen your feeble knees and declare and decree. I'm going to use all the resources at my fingertips. He's just a prayer away. What do you want God to do in your life? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Lord just telling me, he said, he said, Quinn, tell him to think big. Hey, Bosha. Sometimes we live beneath our privileges, Pastor Doug. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes we live beneath our privileges because we don't think we deserve it. And you're right. You don't deserve it, but the Lord deserves it. You're a child of the king. Uh, do y'all believe that today? Uh, do you believe you somebody? Uh, do you believe that today? Do you believe that the Lord is on your side? Do you Lord, believe that the Lord can do great things and mighty things to you? Hallelujah the Lord. That's why he called you. That's why he brought you out of darkness. That's why he made you the head and not the tail. That's why he sent you to this ministry. Hallelujah. So you can be powerful. So you can be strong. So you can be mighty. So you can do greatness by resisting the evil and doing the good. So that you can walk in authority. So that you can walk in power. So that you can live above the enemy. Hallelujah. My God. You know, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sister Kathy. Hallelujah. You know, you know Pastor Duck, I'm going to tell you something. I don't worry no more about the electric being cut off. I don't worry no more about the heat being cut off. I don't worry about where I'm going to get my next meal. I don't worry about my car payment. I don't worry about the house payment. I don't worry. Why? Because my daddy is rich. My daddy is rich. My daddy is rich. Uh, my daddy is rich. I don't worry about whether or not I'm going to get the COVID, whether or not I'm going to get cancer, whether or not I'm going to die. If I perish, I perish, but I'm going to see the king. You don't have to worry about the battle. You don't have to worry about the test. You don't have to worry about the circumstance. Just shout right now. Just shout right now. Just give God glory right now. Hallelujah. Because... If all of that negative stuff happens, I still got to go to him. If I, my gas get cut off, I got to go to him. If my light get cut off, I got to go to him. If I get sick in my body, I got to go to Somebody clap your hands and give God a praise. All blessings, echo shot, flow through Jericho. All blessings go through the tribe of Judah. You have to give him a Judah praise. My God, I see why the psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless him in my good times. I'll bless him in my bad times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Shama. That's all the Lord wants us to do. Trust in him. Refuse the evil and do the good. Let the church stand. Bless that wonderful name of Oh, bless that wonderful name of Oh, bless that wonderful name of There is no other name if you want to get baptized, bless that wonderful name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. G, you just raise your hands. We got somebody to change your clothes. And we got somebody to baptize you. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There is no other name. When you walk out of here, you know you got to have power. When you leave this place, walk in your authority. When you walk out of here, lay hands on some stuff. Expect you to see some miracles. Hey, when you leave this place, expect to be an atmosphere changer. Because there's power. We're going to have Pastor Duck pray. Then she's going to turn it over to Deacon Fields for an announcement. And my God, we're going to meet down at 930 Liberty Street and give God some glory. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We come, Lord, to say thank you. Thank you for the word that we've heard today, Lord. Asking, Lord, that you'll help us, Lord, to apply it to our hearts. Let it rule in our lives. And, Lord, help us to abide by it, Lord. And these blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Keep us, Lord, on the week that's coming up, Lord. And, Lord, bless us. Keep us in our faith. Help us, Lord, increase our faith, Lord. Increase our joy. Increase our anointing. Increase our focus, Lord. Uh, help us, Lord, to focus on you, Lord. Keep our focus on you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And bless us, Lord, according to thy word. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Deacon Fields. Praise the Lord. Uh, me and Sister uh, Yolanda put some, um, like a little snack pack for the children and stuff. She's going to be giving them out. At the service. Deacon Fields felt they, they looked a little hungry after service. So he said he wanted to feed the children. Amen. <laughs> Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. That's that kingdom authority. Uh, that's that kingdom power. You didn't ask for it, but blessings just follow you. Uh, one Lord, <laughs> one faith, one baptism. In Jesus' name, amen. And if we got some big kids here that need something to uh, carry you, sustain you, don't be afraid to take it. <laughs>